What's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today we're going to check out GetWid. GetWid is a WordPress plugin that's going to take Gutenberg to the next level. Now, what is GetWid going to enable you to do? First off, you're going to be able to create pages faster, nicer looking, and it's going to add blocks to Gutenberg. So you're going to have way more options to create pages that are nicer looking. Now, in this video, what we're going to cover is how to load in GetWid theme, get with plugin, get rid of those nasty widgets in the bottom when you load in WordPress um, and load the homepage. So in this video, we're going to cover all of that so you can get started right away with GetWid. So let's jump into my desktop and check it out. All right, guys, this is the GetWid site. And if you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. GetWid is actually free. It won't cost you a single cent. Now, I recommend you head on over to the site because if you scroll down, you're going to be able to see the examples. Now, if you want to see a live example of any one of these, you just click on it and it'll take you to a demo of it. So let's check this out. And that's what it's going to do. So that's what that block is going to do. All right. Now let's jump into my site to show you how this is actually going to work. Now I loaded in a fresh install of WordPress and I've only installed the theme and the plugin and loaded in some images. That's all I've done. Now to load in get with theme, you jump into appearance themes, click on that, add new, search for get with, and you install and activate. That's what I've done. Then we head on over to plugins right here. We're going to click on add new here on the menu and we're going to search for get with also. And we are going to install and activate that easy and that fast. Now, this is how my site looks right now, installing the get with theme and plugin. I haven't done anything. This is how it looks. It's just plain and simple. We haven't loaded in the homepage. So we're going to do all that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the left menu right here. Pages, add a brand new one. All right, and now we're agreed with the WordPress theme right here, which is this is how the Gutenberg works. Now we got two options available. We got blocks. If we click on this little plus button, we're gonna click on browse all, and we got blocks on the left. We got the normal Gutenberg blocks. So let's scroll down. Widgets, embeds, and here are the get with blocks. Blocks. These are the ones that are available now with get with. There's a lot of cool options. Now before we check those blocks, I want to install some templates first. First from get with. Now let's click on the template library right here, and it's going to enable you to install these themes that are already pre-built. Now this helps you speed up things because it's already kind of fixed already. So it works and it's fast and easy. So let's load in something like a header. This one looks nice. So let's insert this header right here. All right. Let's insert another section. Well, another template right here and something that would be nice for this one would be a sub hero insert. Okay, let's insert a, another one. Let's just say we start off with some images, one on the right. Okay, let's load in another one, uh, template library. And now let's load in the left. So it kind of goes right image, left image, just playing around right here, right? Remember, we can edit all of this, the images and the text and all of that good stuff. Let's load one more. So let's go, we can show a pricing list, image gallery, logo grid. I mean, look how nice these look and they're easy and they're already built. So uh, this one, let's insert that one just for fun. All right, let's preview this really quickly. So let's preview this. And this is how the site is loaded. See how good that looks. All right, remember that those are widgets. We're gonna get rid of those in this video. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we loaded this. What if I click right here? All right, so we can click the right here to change that. For example, my channel is SaaS Master. So we can change that. We can change, um, I make videos, right? And we can add, change the text to this one also. Um, open in a new tab. What that means, if, if they click on this button, it's gonna jump into a, another link. So we're gonna say, see more, right? So let's just say we're talking about videos. But if I click on that, Remember, everything you click on, it's going to load in new options on the right. Now you get to explore these. You can change colors, font styles, depending on what you click on, it's going to change. So if I click on this, it's going to be, for example, the button, it's going to be a fill, a default side, fill align. If you want a color setting, you can change that there. So for example, let's just say we turn that to purplish right there, a little bit change. And if we click on this image, well, we get the option to do a rounded image, square image. 
Um, we can change the image if we want. So all of that is super easy and super fast. We can change it from here. Also change the type of block. We can add a new block inside of this, but let's add a brand, brand new block on the bottom. So let's just say I want to browse all again, head on over to my get with blocks. And if I want to load something here by get with, we got all these options available. I mean, you don't have this with the normal Gutenberg blocks. Um, something that might be interesting would be the, for example, video pop-up. I do a lot of videos. So what I would do is load in a URL where they, when they click on it, it's going to load that video. So for example, I'm going to load this one. This is a video I recorded and we're going to load it there. And we're going to add, whoops, we're going to add an image to it. So media library. Let's just say that what was the image to the video. Look how nice that looks. And again, if I click on this, we can edit the video URL again. We could change the style of this. You can change the colors and all of that good stuff. You get options for everything. So let's preview this again. Go into desktop. All right. We got loaded all of this. Remember, we changed this to SAS Master. We changed the color to that button. Now we could change that hover color into something else. This is the video I just added right now, and it's like a pop up video. Right now, you can click play. What's up, SAS Masters? My name is George. And you can be right there. Super easy and super fast. Now, what happens if we add another block? Another block that's interesting is the this one right here. Hold on, let me search for it. The image hotspot and the countdown are pretty cool. And the content time, timeline. I've, I've seen people buy timeline plugins and you get it here for free. So let's just say I load an image hotspot, load in for media library. Let's just say I load these right here. And what this is gonna enable you to, enable you to do is add hotspots. So this is a hotspot. Click on this and let's just say these ones. All right, so the title of this would be Apple. Let's just keep it simple, right? It's Apple and these are gonna be the AirPods. And let's just save that. So when people hover over that, it's going to have that. Now we can, we can create that also as a link. So if they click on that, they jump into something else. Now, remember, imagine doing this for products, right? You make them jump to the sales page where they actually buy the product. So that's pretty cool. And you can add more hotspots if you want. Just click on hotspots, you add more, change colors to it, add hovers and all that good stuff. Now let's publish this baby right here. So let's publish that. And again, this is the site that we just created. So let me load it in right here. So this is the site, but this is not my homepage. So I'm gonna click on my homepage and it's still looking like that. And you're gonna say, hey, what's going on? Well, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So let's jump into the WordPress settings. Let's go into settings and you're gonna head on over to reading here in the menu. Now we're going to hit set a static page as the home plate home page. So you can see your home page displays and we're going to select the home page. It's going to be the one we created right now. So we didn't add a title for it right now, but that's no problem. Okay. So now we set that as a home page. So again, let's refresh this and this is our home page now. See how easy that was. Now we got this nasty looking things down here and we can edit them in two ways. We can head on over to appearance and head on over to widgets and we can get rid of these. You can see that's, that's the footer. So we can delete these, delete them all. You can also do it by heading over to appearance and customize. That's another way of doing it. I don't know why uh, WordPress loads these widgets. They don't look good. They're actually just, I don't know. They're, they're a waste of time. I always have to delete them. All right. So now they're deleted. Let's refresh the site. And they're gone. See, now we go down and they are gone. So now we have a cleaner looking homepage. Now remember you have to load in logos and set up the menu and all of that good stuff. But as you can see, it's pretty easy and straightforward. Now, if we add a brand new post, we also get the Gutenberg blocks. Sorry, the get with blocks. So let's scroll down here. And we got the get with blocks also in post. So if you want to write a nice block and also insert the get with blocks, you have those available. Now there's a lot of things that you could do with get with it. We couldn't cover them in a, probably in an hour. If we load one by one and try to set them up, it would take forever. The reason I want to wanted to make this video is because I want to show you how flexible and how easy it is to get started with get with blocks. And the best part of all, it's actually free. It won't cost you a single cent more. Now get with these guys make a lot of plugins. If you guys want to buy a membership, they sometimes they got some promos like they do right now. So if you want to check that out, 
check it out in the description. Well guys, that is Get With Blocks. I hope you guys liked this video and found out that it's actually easy to get started with Get With. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.